blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father. Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, to give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And Lord, I pray, I pray they be your words, not my words. I pray all this in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. <clears throat> I am only the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. God says fasting, sackcloth, and ashes are coming for every American. Not just the lukewarm Christians, but everyone. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup <clears throat> in the Lord's hand. They made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. America owes God. And God is about to collect what is due him. Just as the Jews were in captivity in Babylon for 70 years, as 70 years in captivity is what was owed to God for not following the Jubilee and not letting their land lay fallow on the Jubilee years and for chasing after false gods. Have we not also gone chasing after false gods in America? Have we not left our one true living God and chased after idols? So we owe God and God is about to collect what is owed to God. So every American will go hungry and fast regardless of your religion, theology, or lack thereof. Every American is about to be in sackcloth or rags. God will get his sackcloth from all of us. So if you're dressed in a suit, a tie, even work clothes, a smock, gown, prayer shawl, robe, have a degree, diploma on your wall, have letters before your name, if you call yourself a doctor, lawyer, bishop, apostle, all titles and all uniforms, robes, smocks, all of it means nothing to God. God is not impressed with any of it. As God is about to humble America to the ground and place everyone in sackcloth. You use your title and your dress or your uniform or covering to set yourself above men. But God will lay you low. God will get his fast that is due him. Have you ever noticed how much food has been going up in price lately? Do you honestly think that will stop? Food will keep going up and then one day there will be no more food at any price. God will also get his fast that is due God. Are you ready to fast for God? And God is about to place every American in ashes. So God, get, God will get what is owed to God. You're being dressed in sackcloth or rags, regardless of who you are, what you believe, or what you don't believe. God will force a fast upon every American, a fast that no one wants, but God says that is due him. So God will get his fast that is owed to God. And God will get his fast, his sackcloth, and his ashes from you, whether you want it, want to or not. As America has refused to worship the one true living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Moses, and the God of Israel. If you want to impress God, try wearing your sackcloth, fasting and setting in ashes before God puts you in these. This is how you impress God, and this is how you get God's attention. That is how you show God that you humble yourself before him. Now, not later, when you are forced to do these things, as then God will not be impressed. Now is the time to call on the only name in heaven or on earth, on earth that can save you, me, or anyone from what is about to come, and that name is Jesus Christ. Now God knows, God knows your abilities and your disabilities, and if you're unable physically to, to, to get in uh, sackcloth and ashes and, and kneel and pray and, and that kind of stuff God knows. God, God knows your abilities and disabilities and, and in that case God knows your heart. He knows that, that mentally you put yourself mentally in sackcloth and ashes and you fast. 
Now I want to apologize for the prayer line being down. I have had phone problems and I am trying hard to have it up and running by 9-11-23. Uh, that will be uh, Monday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time for that prayer line. And that number is 518-318-7813. And uh, we hope to see you there. Uh, I want to welcome you to the uh, Azusa Street Mission and Revival. And our website is www.azusast.com. And we stand alone as the only church that prays down Holy Spirit fire from heaven and prays for mighty miracles and a mighty move of God in these last days. These days are the last days, and we are that last generation. And so we are going home soon, very soon. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and the, that ye receive not of her plagues. Now is the time to separate yourself from the world, as this world is not our home, and it has nothing for us, and it has nothing that we need. Now, if the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this work, God's work, all, all that we ask is that you obey the Holy Spirit. And I do this work from my kitchen table and out of my basement. And that the Holy Spirit tells me that that is all that I need. And remember, small things, or uh, big things have small beginnings. Just remember what came out of a manger in Bethlehem. And we thank you for your love, your prayers, and your support for this last day's ministry. Without faithful people like you, this work would be impossible. You have all been a blessing to us, and we thank God for, for sending you to us. We keep you and yours in our prayers. We are going home soon to be with Jesus in the clouds forevermore. And we will see you there on that day. With much love and more grace from above. Amen. I want to read Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. These are the last days. These are the last hours, the last minutes, the last seconds. Time is oh so short. We're going home soon. We're going home soon. Many say it'll be the Feast of Trumpets, but I can't say that. All I know is what I'm told, and that, that is that time is so very, very short. So very short. And I believe what the Holy Spirit tells me. I have been told that we are but one breath away from rapture. But that is a breath of God. And that, that we just all need to be in prayer. All need to be in prayer. And looking up for that great catching away. Because it is soon. It's coming soon. God bless you. God keep you. Each and every one of you is our prayer. And we love you all so very much. Each and every one of you have been a blessing from God. And we love you all so very much. God bless you. God keep you.